Hello and welcome to a new episode of Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at a common problem in photography and that is dust spots or sensor dust. You know, or basically just a dirty lens. Um, if you don't keep things clean, those spots will be in your photos whether you know they're there or not. So in this episode we're going to take a look at the brand new Lightroom 5 and one of its new abilities to not only of course eliminate those dust spots but help you find them in the first place. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, I took this photo, or this, took the shot um, on May 18th, there's the date. <laughs> and uh, when I took it, I was pointing directly up at the sun and uh, someone pointed out, hey, there's a rainbow around the sun. I later found out that the technical term for this is called a sun dog. And I just, you know, took a few shots, shot away, just standing there in line, waiting for something, and and got my shots. Now, on the back of the camera, they look great. But when I got back to Lightroom, that's when I discovered I started seeing little dust spots. So little things that were either on the lens or on the sensor. And I started, you know, using the spot removal tool that we're used to in um, Lightroom to start getting rid of those until I realized that I really wasn't getting rid of all of them. So let me show you the process. So I'm gonna hit the letter D to take me over to the develop module. And once in the develop module, <clears throat> I started making adjustments to the photo itself right away. For example, I want to bring down the highlights as much as I can, knowing that I'm shooting at the sun and that's never gonna come in. Um, but also I dropped the exposure a little bit. <clears throat> and when I dropped the exposure, that's when I started seeing more of these spots. And that looks like even a little piece of hair in that corner there. Okay, so I, I said I'll get to those in a moment. Let me go ahead and do a few more adjustments. So I brought up the vibrance, kind of bringing out the blue, more blue in the sky. Brought up the saturation, again, trying to get that blue just to be as blue as I possibly can. And then that's when I decided, okay, maybe I should now go out and tackle those dust spots. Let me bring the exposure down a little bit more, and you can start to see them very clearly when I do that. All right, but that's not enough. I can't see them or really find them with the naked eye. So when I go to the spot removal tool, um, first of all, one of the things that's new in the spot removal tool is that it can be used as a brush. But in this case, I just wanna use it as a spot removal tool. And you'll notice now at the bottom of your image, there's a new command called visualize spots. So that's what we're gonna focus on. We're just gonna turn that on and it's gonna really allow me to get in and see the spots in my image. Now you have an adjustment slider for this, so you can turn it down or turn it up. And when I turned it up, that's when I really could start to see a lot more of the spots there. So while I'm in this mode of seeing more and more of the spots, then I could just simply go in with the spot removal tool and just start getting rid of them. So in this mode, I can work kind of getting rid of the spots that I see there more easily and finding them more quickly than I could if I was just trying to eyeball it. So we got a few more here. And of course, I could zoom in, I could go further, I could keep working, but you get the idea. This is gonna let me quickly go in and uh, find those spots and get rid of them. Now that actually might be part of the cloud. I'm not gonna do that one just yet. And let's go ahead and take care of a couple more. And again, that might be part of the cloud. That one looks like it could be a dust spot. And we've got some more up here. And we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of all these. Now, as soon as you've identified them all and taken care of them with the spot removal tool, you can then just turn off the visualized spots. And once you click off the tool, your spots are gone. So now you can get back to adjusting your image. So check out the new spot removal tool. Even though it's been in Lightroom for a while, now it has the ability to visualize those spots in your image that you may not have noticed or may not see with the naked eye. That's it for this episode of the new Creative Cloud TV. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.